So, find father. Oh, call mother? All right, let's try calling our mother. Uh, let's see, contacts, mom. Mom, get, can I can I have secret mini game now? Get, oh! <gasps> is this, give gifts, give life? Hello, hope you're doing well. My name is Super Maya. Welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit. Okay, last episode, I got one star. How long ago was the last episode? That doesn't matter, it's fine. In this episode, I'm gonna get the three star ending. I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. I think you have to do the things that I didn't do in the last episode that I already knew that I had to do, which was collect all the, oh, I can't continue, can I? I gotta make a new game. That's okay. All right, fine. Um, I have to get all the, the memorabilia from my father, which I can do. That's fine. Let's make it a little bit brighter here. All right. Um, so there's... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I did frightening last time. Terrifying. Terrifying, a harder experience. You won't come back. Ah, advanced. Whoa. Whoa. That's cool. Is there more? Quality of life. Oh. I see. Does this matter for getting the three-star ending? Can I still get the three-star ending without... Can I make this easier for me? <laughs> Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. And I'm not going to tell you because I'm... <laughs> I'm... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Embarrassed about it. All right. Uh, we're skipping everything. All right. So here's what I have to do. I have to collect all the memorabilia. I missed one in the, in the first episode because I'm stupid. But this time I'm not, I'm gonna be less stupid and I'm gonna actually look for everything. Another thing I, oh, it makes me look at the map. All right, stuff, yes, yes, yes. All right, we already know all this. The third thing I need to do is the mini games. Okay, so uh, apparently there was two more secret mini games that I didn't do in the first episode um, that ah, frankly were a little hard to find. <laughs> okay, this is a horror game. Um, gosh, what, okay. There's one, I don't know what's in them, but I know how to find them. What I did was I got one of my friends to, where am I? Ah, I see. I got one of my friends to tell me um, how to activate the mini games, but not how to, like what was in them. Sorry, I just wanted to, I just, <laughs> I wanted to use my ability to stand to do something. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you don't know, if you didn't see my last episode, not of this, but just my last video. I, I'm in a new place. Yeah, look at it. It's cool. Can I skip faster? No, I can't. <laughs> Oswald and Mike, shush. Hey, yellow rabbit. I want to talk to you. Uh, and I'm standing now, and I can so I can do funny stuff like that, where I can... I can move. Gumball machine. Can I do it now? I don't think... I don't think I can do it now. I think I have to wait. Where is the gumball machine? I don't know. But what I know is somewhere in this pizzeria, in that main room... Um, there's a gumball machine and that gumball machine you literally just have to spam it You literally just have to keep doing it until you get the minigame, which I think is a little dumb But that's fine. I'll make it work. Uh, I'm gonna skip around a lot. So don't worry I you're not gonna have to sit through all of this. So in fact, actually, I'll just be back now in a minute This is gonna be not seven hours long like the last one Hello, Pit Trap. That's oh, that's what I'm calling him now. La in the last episode, I was calling him Spring Trap. Spring Trap, I think. But I didn't really know his name. I don't think his name is actually Pit Trap, but I think I heard ID's Fantasy call him that, and I like that. That's a good name. <laughs> it's a funny name. I'm sure she didn't come up with it, but, you know. It's a good name. I like it. Because every yellow rabbit has to be a trap, even if it's not William, apparently. I can skip. Uh, all right, uh, gumball machine. I'm gonna see if I can do the gumball machine now. I think you can. So in the main room, there is a gumball machine, and we're gonna go to it real quick. Yes, yes, you're running. I know if things are scary. Where's the gumball machine? The gumball machine is more important. There it is. Than your deaths. All right. Apparently, you just spam this, uh, and then you get it. I don't. Apparently, you have to do it for a while. So. I'll we'll see you uh, when it happens. Oh, hey, I did it. Ah, oh, I'm back. I don't know how long that took. It took a little bit. It took a while. Okay. New mini game. I love that the things are still in the background. Okay. So in the last video, we, last episode, we did the fetch mini game. And that's what I found out afterwards, that it seemed to be fetch. Ah.
Is this Foxy go, go, go? Is Foxy... Good job. This sure looks like Foxy Go Go Go. Um, I don't understand the significance of these mini games. So is this one not a book? Is this one a book one? Also, is this not a girl? It looks like a girl. Is Foxy possessed by a girl? I thought it was a guy. I guess it doesn't. I don't know. I thought it was. This is, I thought, isn't the third one the bad one? Hey! Good job! I'm doing such a good job! What is happening? Is it, oh, do, is there a secret I have to find? Okay, so purple guy shows at the bottom left, I think, of Foxy Go Go Go. Is that even the name of it? I think it is. Ah! Are those arrows through hearts? Those are good things. <laughs> good job! You did it! Oh, very good things. What, what, what is the significance of this? What is the significance of this? I don't understand. I really genuinely don't understand the significance of this. We're still going. There's so many more in this one. This is, this is, has to be a book one. This has to be a book because I don't know, I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that okay, listen, let me real quick theorize because I love I like talking about theories in, in my FNAF videos. Um okay, that's clearly Foxy Go Go Go. Or maybe it's not. It sure looks like it. Another thing it reminds me of. This is candy cadet stuff, right? It's candy. Uh during this I probably didn't show it because it was I only briefly caught it. I think it said candy, candy, candy. I'm pretty sure it did. So I think it's referencing Candy Cadet. And then Candy Cadet also tells the story about the 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 woman who has to like the woman who tried to save all the kids by putting them uh, by melting them all together into one so is this a book story and if it is th scratch that it doesn't matter if it's a book story let's let's not even pretend let's not even talk about it being a book story because of the whole book game canon thing that people get up you know upset about and also confused about i'm also confused don't worry but this is a game so it's likely that this one is canon because it's it's a game. Let me let me finish what I was going to say about um, the mini game. Oh, I have to find them. Oh, Chip and Mike, where are they? How do I? Oh, I remember. What's the thing? Oh, what was my original thought? Hold on, I can think of things. Don't worry about it. Listen, I'm a professional. Uh, pit trap, distract, distract them while I think. Okay, I remember. All right, so the woman putting them all together with Candy Cadet story. So does that mean that that was about Foxy Go Go Go? Like, let's just say Sugar Rush interact with the candy machine ten times. Oh, okay. Let's just go ahead and say that like this game is canon. The game didn't like me saying that. If the game is canon, then that means that Candy Cadet was talking about Foxy Go Go Go. No. So, but what what would Foxy have done? Maybe Golden Freddy is the DCI kids. I don't know. <laughs> ah, I hit the wrong button. It's me. I'm Golden Freddy. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's try it again. Pit trap. Hey, my bad. Excuse me. Space. Because that was obviously, I feel like that was obviously the DCI things. So if it's, so there's a lot of things to consider here. So Foxy, once again, we're just going to, we're just going to pretend that this is canon. We're not even gonna worry about it. We're just gonna say this is canon. If it's canon, that means Foxy is decommissioned, right? So, which is interesting, which means that, ah, the DCI kids, I, thought, I mean, that's gotta be them, no? So, cause the MCI kids got put in the animatronics. That's why they are possessed in the first place. Ah. <laughs> 
Get him! I think I- what happens if I just like don't do this at all? I get him anyway. Oh, okay. He's just more possessed now. That's what happens. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. My, my thoughts are too frazzled. I guess I, I'll have to come back later and talk about that because I guess there's just a lot of implications happening. Doesn't make no sense. I don't know. All right. Let me just, I'll be back in a little bit because, uh, you know, we've all seen this and I've just been blabbering and yapping. All right. Be back in a minute. All right. Spring trap. Pit trap, go away. All right, gosh, I love, okay, so I'm gonna run you through some thoughts, all right? For those who wish to, who, who for those who like watching me specifically, all right, let me share you some thoughts that aren't just tuber bait. And what do I mean by that is like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh. Excuse me, what do I mean by that? Okay, well, listen, in a lot of videos and stuff, you gotta understand that I play them because they're popular and stuff, and it's like, oh, I have to do things that are real, just like, I have to do things because people aren't gonna watch me either, uh, uh, anyway, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I have to have an intro at the beginning uh, of me having the jump scare and stuff. Where's my contact list? What do you mean? I, oh, I guess I have to look at it. No, no, go back into the thing. But there's a lot of things that I like to talk about, but I, I don't really, it's hard to find a time to do it. Um, and this is one of those things. I just like theorizing. Let me get mom's number. Uh, five, five, oh, I have to actually remember it. 5683. All right, 5683. 5683. 555. 5, 86. 83. Uh, enter. So let me theorize a little bit. I'm gonna include just randomly, random lore stuff. So here's my thoughts on this game being canon. I think that this game probably is canon, but Into the Pit, the novel is not canon. And what I mean by that is, I do think that the books, oh, hello, uh, Pit Trap. I do think that the books are not the, the game timeline, but it's, it's hard to, but like this is. So like, for example, if something, am I, I'm sorry, am I, did I glitch the game? Never mind, I'm good now, okay. <laughs> um, for example, this game, all right, this game is canon, but Into the Pit, the novel is not. And so if there is a question that appears in this game that can be answered with the novel, we should not use the novel to answer it because the novel doesn't matter. The game is canon. For example, the Stitch Wraith showing up. I don't know if the Stitch Wraith shows up in Into the Pit. All right, I don't know if it shows up in the ep epilogue or what, but the Stitch Wraith is obviously clearly in this game. Speaking of which, they appear at this window, right? If you wait long enough. And so because of that, I am liable to say that the Stitch Wraith is canon. Um, to the game timeline. But that doesn't mean everything about the Stitch Wraith is canon. Run, 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 run. Let me use the Mimic as an example. The Mimic. The Mimic is in the books and is in the games. It shows up in Ruin. The Mimic is definitely canon because it shows up in Ruin. But that doesn't mean everything from the books makes uh, it is canon to the mimic. Um, do I think it is going to parallel it? 100%, but I also, this is the best way for me to explain it. I think that the books should be viewed as a rough draft of the final draft of those characters. So the mimic in Ruin and in Secret of the Mimic, they're going to be the final draft versions of those characters. Pit Trap in this game, the Stitch Wraith in this game, etc. These are the final draft versions of the book counterparts. They're gonna have a lot in common, but they're also gonna be different. But I mean, yeah, look, I, I'm rambling enough, but, but that's essentially, it just, I do think the games, I don't think the novels are necessarily canon, but I think they can be, you know, as a final draft, whatever, it's fine. I don't wanna talk about it, uh, just go away. I'll be back later. I'm gonna go find things, all right? I've talked long enough, goodbye. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, and I want to show, uh, share my thoughts about secrets of uh, secret of the mimic, because uh, that got announced recently. 
and I have some thoughts. So, first thought about Secrets of the Mimic. I... Uh, where do I even start with Secrets of the Mimic? Uh, or Secret of the Mimic. So here's what I think is going to happen. I don't think Edwin is a Henry parallel anymore. I think Edwin is... I think Edwin might have meant... Might have been meant to be that originally. But he is not anymore. Um, and he now is like the third owner uh, of Fazbear Entertainment. And I think that actually makes a lot of sense. I think Edwin being... I think Edwin fixes a lot of problems. For example, um, let's see, Balloon Boy. Who are the ones? Balloon Boy, Moon, Sun and Moon, um, the puppet. There's a lot of animatronics that just don't make a lot of sense. Uh, they're not, they don't seem to be William or Henry's designs, which is really strange because that doesn't like, they've never really fit super well. Those are a few examples. And we also know about Fall Fest, which is carnival themed. And I don't think Henry or William, like, yes, they're circus babies. Here's my thing. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think Secret of the Mimic is going to give us an answer for the sister location bunker. It's going to give us an answer for the animatronics, the slender animatronics. There's a line of like slender animatronics where... They just don't, like, Henry or William never made those weirdly slender animatronics. And I think it's going to end up being that Edwin, that was Edwin's design. Like, the Mimic, for example, is, um, is slender, right? It's a slender endoskeleton. It's not necessarily... Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's not, I don't know if I have to do this minigame, by the way, but I'm doing it anyway. Um... It's not necessarily smaller than the others, I guess, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's an Edwin design. And so what I think the, like, I, who the mimic is, I don't know. I don't, it might not even be someone that we know, but I, like, I don't know what the secret is. I don't know what the secret's gonna be, but I, I one thing that I would like to share. Uh oh. All right, uh, I think we're gonna get an answer for um, Circus Baby. Um, I think a, a, a big reveal in uh, Secret of the Mimic is going to end up being that Eleanor was actually the original Circus Baby, and the reason that Eleanor is just like a weirdly slender version of Baby, which, which just like, it's a weird choice, right? It's a weird choice for just Eleanor to be a carbon copy of Baby, uh, at least in appearance, but be a slender version, is because I think Eleanor was an Edwin design originally. Um, and so I think Eleanor might actually, I think we're going, oh, Ballora, that's another one. Ballora is another one where it's like, that's just not a William or Henry design. Like why, I know a lot of people are like, you know, he's, uh, you know, she's supposed to be William's wife or whatever, Mrs. Afton, but that never made a lot of sense either. It might still be that, right? It might still be supposed to be that, but it's still not, the, the point is, it's not a William or Henry design. And so what I think is going to, I think we're going to see Eleanor. I think we're going to see the puppet. I think we're going to see a lot of stuff and uh, it's just going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and uh, circus baby. So I think it's going to end up being that circus baby is actually a circus baby is very much a William design. And so I think what's going to end up happening is William is going to say, I don't know. How, what would you say? I guess just steal it. Like he's going to steal Edwin's design and then make Circus Baby from, uh, maybe not from Eleanor, but he's gonna be like, uh, Edwin's gonna be dead or something, right? Cause we haven't seen Edwin. He's not, he's not gonna be around. And then William is gonna be like, oh, I'll take that design. And then he makes Circus Baby. And then he makes Ballora and all of them from whatever designs that um, Edwin made. And then all the Circus, uh, 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 Sister location happens. Also, we'll probably it be in the sister location bunker at some point in Secret of the Mimic because um, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense that William would have that bunker. And so, I don't know. We'll probably, we'll see something better. I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm rambling again. I'll be back. Goodbye. <laughs> I come back and I ramble and then I leave. All right. See you later. I've returned with a screwdriver. Let let get out of here, kid. 
Get out of here. Quickly. Nice. Now spam past all your dialogue. All right, so I got the wallet. So the wallet is something important that you need. That's one of the, the memoriams, the memoriams, the memoriams that you need to get the three star ending. All right, actually, you just needed to get the two star. Ending. But uh, I'm going for the three, so don't mind me. Uh, I did the, okay, gumball minigame. Let me, I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. No, I'm on track. All right. So we're going to go into day two, I think, here. And then I have to go home first. All right. So day. I don't think the days really matter that much. It's just the normal stuff. The nights are the important parts. So I'll just, uh, I'll go ahead and skip to whenever I get the next item. Ah! Nightmares, nightmares, nightmares. My father and my mother. Pit trap, please don't. Please don't with my mother. <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs> I got an achievement called impatient push the action button a hundred times during cutscenes. That's really funny. <laughs> okay, my bad. Yeah, I am impatient. I want the ending. I want the ending. <laughs> oh, thank you for following Oswald. All right, I'm back. Uh, we're about to jump into the ball pit for night two. Somewhere in here is another memoriam of my father. I think this is the night where the lights turn out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, lights are over here. Fix easy. Uh, I don't know where. All right. Hold on. Replace. Hello. Oh, he heard that. Oh, it's a little delayed. He didn't see me. <laughs> he didn't see me. Replace that flashlight, Oswald. He didn't. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> Man. Uh, all right. Somewhere around here, there's something. I don't know if I found the one that's in here or not. Rat. Place the rat trap. But right. he don't. He don't know how to do that yet. Yeah, paper plate. Place that real quick. Here. All right. There's a school picture from last year. Ah. Okay. This might be the one, actually. I, uh, this might be the one I missed, because I think what happened was I did get it. <sighs> Is that even the one I missed? I don't know. I think there's one that I missed that I did get, but I died. And so I missed it. Because I didn't go back and get it a second time. Jigga! <laughs> Terrible jump scare. All right, I'll be back again when, I don't know, something important happens. All right, there we go. Got, got the... All right, so this is the night three one. Picture of Oswald and his hot mom and pit trap. Thankfully not being in the photo. Surely I won't get attacked while I'm on the phone, right? Looks like I'm not. All right, uh, uh, I'll be back again. We're just gonna skip. We're just, I don't know what's, what the next thing I need to do is. I can't, how do I get to the, oh, that's right. I have to call mother. I think it's on the final night you have to call mom uh, for the final mini game. So I'm not gonna worry about it now, but I'll be back. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I just found this. Well, I didn't find, well, you know, I, I didn't find it, but I didn't know. It, correct me if I'm wrong. In the last episode, I didn't actually have to use a voucher. I just kind of clicked it and then it did it for me. Um, anyway, this is the one we've already played. Um, this is the fetch one uh, where you pick up balloons. I'm not 100% sure what this minigame is supposed to be besides fetch. I also don't even know if it's fetch. It's just a weird robotic animatronic dog thing. But anyway, uh, yeah, in this one, you just pick up the balloons. I did this uh, one several times, by the way, and I didn't, I don't understand what this one is trying to say. 
I think the game is clearly trying to tell us that there were the the sixth kid, whoever this sixth kid is, whether it's the vengeful spirit or it's someone else, was part of the MCI. And I don't know exactly what significance that has, um, but clearly it has some significance because in all of them, in the Balloon Boy one and in this one, there's this theme of the sixth kid is a part of the MCI because it's being included in the other ones. It might not be the MCI either. It might be the DCI. We really don't know. Um, I'm hoping that this game is part of the game timeline and we can use the lore from it to solve questions we have and, it, and that it answers questions that we have. Another thing that's really interesting about this mini game is when you collect the sixth balloon, uh, something really interesting happens to the number. See, so see the top left right now, the number is, is white. But when you collect the balloon, the sixth balloon, it turns it purple. So, you know, Schmillium Schmafton, whatever that means. Also, Golden Freddy has a spirit already, which is really important as well, because there's already a spirit in Golden Freddy. But, I don't know. Ah, it's uh, strange. It's silly and strange. And then you come in here, and there's a freaking cyber dog. <laughs> and then it freaking kills you. <laughs> and it says, see you. Whatever that means. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's save Chip or whatever. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. Goodbye. See you later. See you soon. I'll be back. All right, night four. This is the one that I missed in the last video, and I have no idea where it is. Uh, but I have a you know pretty good idea where to look. There's only there's only so many places it can be, and it might be over there. Um, let's see. It could be in the kitchen. Hello. No, it wouldn't be in the kitchen because it's already been in the kitchen. It's already. It's already been in the kitchen. There's Bonnie. It could be over here to the left. Oh, he found me. Man, all right, it could be over here. Oh, I could have just ran away. Uh, let's see, where does this take me? Up here, okay. Freddy is in that room to the left. I'll, I'll go ahead and activate him. Well, no, because if I activate him, it's gonna send me, um, shoot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was really hard to find. A little too hard to find, am I being honest? Okay, this is the one I missed. Hello, my name is Dad. Dad's name tag. Dad's name tag from work. He was so upset to lose his job at the mill, it wasn't his fault. But they didn't stop him from telling mom how ashamed. But that didn't stop him from telling mom how ashamed he felt. Ah, I see. Dad looked so sad when he told me he had lost his job at the mill. I didn't understand why he kept saying, I'm sorry. I've never thought it was his fault. Dad's always worked so hard. I'm glad he's my dad. Ah, why well, wonder who he is? Edwin? Edwin? No, I don't have no idea. All right, well, that's it. That's the thing. All right, I'll be back. Uh, I guess I'll probably just see you uh, much later when it's time for the thing. Because, yeah, that's what I need to do. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. See you soon. Goodbye. See you, see you soon. Okay, I just got the wedding ring. Uh, so here's the fifth one. So now I have all five. I have all five this time. Five out of five. Four. Um... Let's see, one, three, two, four, five. Okay, I have all of them this time. I still have one more mini. Why are there so many mini mini arenas? Why are there so many mini arenas? <laughs> okay, I um. Oh, talk to the kid. Okay, so I just have the one last mini game to do, and I do that on the final night, and so I'm good for now. So I actually I will for real see you this time, like pretty much right at the end, uh, uh to make sure everything goes right and all that. All right, see you in a second. All right, so here's what's going on. Uh, I got to call my mom, and then I get to play a mini game. And then when that happens, I win the video game. I will be honest. Here, why don't we just stick with me with this night? Because I don't think this night is incredibly long. I know we got to go talk to Jeff. Um, it's going to be like, oh, no. Duh. You know what? Let's just, it's going to be, oh, no, he, he locked the door. Let's just try calling our mother first. Uh, five, 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 fifty six, eighty three. Is that what it is? Huh? 
Huh, okay. All right, so you don't do it yet. Maybe you do it in the past and then it works. Oh, police officer. All right, Jeff, uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff, give me the key to the ball pit. Unless it, I have to check it first. Nah, Jeff. Jeff, give me the key to the ball pit. Give me the key. Oh man, what's going on with you? What are you guys doing? You're shaking around when I'm hitting the button, apparently. I'm not sure why that's happening. It's not too bad. I'm sorry, what? Is he here? I forgot about this part. Oh, this is not the way! This is not... Oh! That genuinely scared me, because I didn't... I didn't put together until right before I died. Now, the reason that door wasn't opening was because he was over there. Ah, oh, good. That's good. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's try this again. Hello, pit trap. Don't kill me this time, please. Oh, police officer is gone. Maybe the police officer was pit trapped the whole time. Unlock the door. Run, 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 run. Go in the pit. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't know why I saluted. Goodbye. No, oh, he's still coming. That makes sense. That makes sense. He's still coming. That makes sense. Fine, Dad. Never. No, 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 no. Run, Oswald. Run. What the heck just happened to the music? You hear that? You hear that? All right. Uh, goodbye, pit trap. Let's see. So, find father. Oh, call mother? All right, let's try calling our mother. That's not right. I, let's try calling mother, see if I get the minigame. Uh, let's see, contacts, mom. Mom, get, can I Can I have secret minigame now? Get her! Is that Eleanor? Okay, that's gotta be Eleanor. <gasps> Is this... Give gifts, give life? And if it is, why is Eleanor here? I'm so confused. <laughs> why? Why is this? I don't, why is, first of all, why is Eleanor here? Secondly, grant her wish? Why is Eleanor? I don't. <laughs> I don't understand. Why is Eleanor the one that's doing give gifts, give life? Good job. Are these different people? They're, no, they're the, I think it's the same person, but they look different. Okay, I, we're Eleanor. Why, but why? Why is she becoming more pink over time? Who is this person? Why are you more pink? Why are you changing clothes? I don't get it. Oh, you're changing altogether. That's Susie. That's Susie, a hundred percent. Why is she being changed? Oh, that's Eleanor's agony necklace. Oh, she's building a body. Is she? I really don't know much about Eleanor, guys. <laughs> hey. What was that on the ground? I saw that. I, what was that? I saw that. I saw. I saw. I saw. <laughs> I saw. Ooh, good timing, me. Oh no, bad timing me, bad timing. Okay, uh, I have to I have to get to Oswald's dad, so I gotta get into the party room. I don't remember, actually, you know what? I think I'm exactly where I need to be right now. I think I have to go through this event and then I get the key card for the party room. So actually, I think I will do that. You know, I am coming around more and more to the idea that this is that our dad screaming? <laughs> I'm coming around more and more to the idea that this game is canon. And if that's so, is this the blob or the tangle or something? No, I don't think it is. But it, it's vaguely... What is this and why is it here? I don't understand. Is that L? No. Would it be? What is the timeline like? I don't know. Let's say this is canon. How close? Uh, if this is canon, 
Is this around the time? Like, is the, does the Pizza Plex exist right now? That's my question. Does the Pizza Plex exist? <laughs> All right, Dad, calm down. Calm down. Oh, no, it's the trapped girl. No, I forgot about the trapped girl. Party room key card. Why is there a key card? Hello, girl. Oh, you're the one that was dancing at the beginning of the game. Thank you. I thought I was done for. Before you get out of here, I'm looking for my dad. Have you seen him? Hey, so there's supposed to be a picture in here. And I don't see one. And I have all the stuff. Um... I need that picture to win the video game. Oh, is that the picture? What's this, a photo? Ah, it's the photo! Strange photo, what is this? Okay, a lot of things are happening all at the same time. Who are they? Strange photo. An auto photo of two men inside of a strange office. Is this somewhere inside of Freddy's? Can I look at it better? Two strange men. I assume it's Henry and William, but I guess I don't know for sure. Maybe it's Edwin and William. <laughs> I don't know. It could be. It's probably not, though. Probably Henry and William. Okay, I believe I've done everything I have to do this time. Oh, there's the rabbit. The bear? Oh, just kidding. That's Freddy. Okay, so here's here's the photo. The other photo. That's William and Henry up there. So, is this the same photo I have? Come on, Dad. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, Dad. Dad, I saved you. Oh, I better hide. Rabbit's coming. Yellow rabbit. We're in sister location, I think. <laughs> hey guys, look! It's the mimic! Guys, look, it's the mimic! It's the it's it's the mimic! Alright. <laughs> You're not taking it away again. Okay. I were I really wish we could go in here. Cause I think this is I don't know. I think we are we might not be in sister location, but it's definitely some sort of weird weird place that exists. Alright, Dad. Come on, Dad! Alright, so guys, this is the new ending, guys. I believe this is it. I believe I've done everything. This should be the three-star ending. <sighs> Last time, what happened was we got kidnapped and then died. So, I'm assuming there will be more to it this time. So, we'll see what happens. Alright. Come on. Alright, alright, alright. We will win this time. We win. Hey. F, 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 I got it, F. Go, go, go. I dropped the photo. Oh, we smacked him. He's mad. Oh, we lost the photo. F, F. I F'd, I F'd. Oh. What are you, allergic to nets? You're really mad at me. <laughs> Dad, can you punch him, please? Why is... What? Why did he die? <laughs> He's allergic to nets, I guess. Is it... Oh, Dad, are you dead? Also, my arm got... Did you see my arm? Is my arm okay? No, not dead. Please don't be dead. No, he's not dead yet. What the... What the heck is that thing? What happened, Oswald? So, uh, I hid in the ball pit to play a prank on you, which I shouldn't have done. You came to look for me and I uh, and slipped on a ball. Must have hit your head pretty hard when you fell. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean for things to get this so out of hand. I accept your apology, Oz. But you're right. You shouldn't have done it. Let's get out of here. You and I are beat up pretty good, Oz. What happened? I did get bit. Look at my arm. It's it's dying. <laughs> you don't remember it? You, you don't remember anything? Look, it's ordering this massive lump on my noggin. No. Oh. I, I was mad at you for being late to pick me up again. So I decided to hide from you and make you feel as annoyed as I was. I slipped on a ball and got knocked out. I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, Oz. I'm the one who's, who's sorry. I'm the one who's sorry. Things haven't been fair to you at all lately. It's up to me and your mom to keep you happy. I certainly haven't lived up to my end of the bargain ever since the mill closed. So I think it's time your mom and I talked about moving somewhere better for all of us, even Grandma. I'm sure there's industrial grade bubble wrap out there just for her. Really? Really. Now let's get you patched up. Dad. Oh, sweet ending. Is that the end? By the way, I uh, think I may be suspended from school. 
What? <laughs> it's been a week, Dad. Achieved a two-star ending in either mode. Did I get the three-star ending? Did I not get the three-star ending? What? Hold on. Skip. Skip this. Where's three-star? 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 Huh? That kid better not have gotten hurt in there. Oh, Jeff. Je Jeff. <laughs> oh. Jeff. No, oh, he's not dead. Oh, great. I thought he was dead. Not dead? What do you mean? I only got two stars. Wait, but I did it. But I did it right. This <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can like it. If you really enjoyed it, you can subscribe. I thought I was going to get the two star in uh, the three star ending, but I, apparently I'm dumb. <sighs> All right, I'll be back in another episode and we're going to get the three star ending. Uh, so I'll see you later. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Goodbye. See you later. Uh, I'm a fool. I'm sorry. I misled you. I led you astray.